Here at Outlier, we talk about strategy and value every single day, but how do we identify strategic and valuable opportunities? We identify strategic and valuable opportunities by one, understanding the competitive landscape, two, understanding the patent landscape, and three, improving patent outcomes by using our patent analytics and forecasting tools. Let's say your company sells software to drone manufacturers, and your software includes a flight control system, an AI-driven object detection system, and a collision avoidance system. What should you actually file your patents on first? Applying our framework, the first step is to understand the competitive landscape, which really requires us to understand the value chain that our clients operate in, and understand how the underlying technology will evolve in their industry. As far as the value chain goes, we'd want to understand who are all the different players, manufacturers, and suppliers who are part of this value chain, so then we can figure out which portions of the value chain will become commoditized over time, and which portion of the value chain will become valuable. We also want to think about how incumbents will try to protect their turf, and how new entrants will try to gain market share. And we want to have strategic patents at all of these levels so that we can protect ourselves as the competitive landscape changes and evolves. The second step is to leverage or use some of our data analytics tools to see if we can identify high value opportunities quickly and efficiently. Our valuation tool looks at forward and backward citations, as well as data from publicly announced licensing deals and 10Ks and Qs, as well as publicly available litigation data uh, or court judgment data. And it takes all this information and figures out what a theoretical or hypothetical value of a patent ought to be. Our second tool is a data visualization tool. This tool helps us figure out quickly whether we're going to be in a crowded space or in a blue ocean space. This tool helps us figure out whether the scope of the patent ought to be broad or narrow. It also helps us figure out whether it's worth patenting. If you're going to be one of several patents in one particular space, it may not be worth it, right? Because everyone in that space will become commoditized unless your product is very differentiated. Our benchmarking tool helps us figure out what your competitors are doing. If they're filing a lot of patents around what you're doing, you may want to consider filing defensive or counter assertion type of patents. Uh, if your competitors are not filing patents, then that's something that we need to know as well. And if you're going to raise outside capital from venture capital firms, our tool goes in and looks at a venture capital firm's portfolio companies and see which percentage of those portfolio companies have patents. If a large majority of the VC firm's portfolio companies are filing patents, then maybe you should too. And we have other tools that helps us figure out evaluation multiples that these companies received, maybe with or without a patent within a particular venture capital firm. Uh, when we control for company size and publicly reported revenue number, we can really get an idea of whether a patent is valuable from a valuation perspective. To give you an example, this is one company that sold their one singular patent for $7.7 .7 million. That's a very valuable patent. This other company sold their geolocation patents to Snapchat for many millions of dollars. And this doesn't just happen by accident. I guess you can get lucky, but the data valuation tools, the strategic patents, and the high value patents are the ones that get acquired for a lot of money. We also use our patent analytics tools to help our clients forecast better and get patents allowed more efficiently. How do we do this? We look at the amount of time that an examiner is going to take to respond to an application. We also look at the number of times they're going to reject an application, which helps our clients forecast better. So we know exactly when you're going to get a rejection and you can budget for that response to that rejection. You'd be surprised we have large sophisticated clients reach out to us because they can't get a handle on their patent cost. We can also improve our efficiencies with these patent applications by knowing exactly the type of argumentation that's going to work on different examiners and whether certain things that we do during the prosecution process will affect our allowance rates. We can really figure out all this stuff and file papers at the patent office in a more intelligent and an informed way. Here's some data about our allowance rates, and here's some data about our efficiency stats. Uh, we get our patents allowed much more quickly and efficiently than most of our competitors. I think we do this by being really good patent practitioners, right? That's table stakes. But we also do it with our data analytics, uh, which incrementally improve our odds of getting a patent allowed and incrementally improve our odds of getting it allowed more efficiently.